All right. So if you still have the wing to to uh, skin out, what you need to do is you need to grab the base of the wing and then start working the hide down over the wing by a little bit of pulling and a little bit of cutting. And you can pull it and have, you can let gravity help you a little bit, but you need to get, you need to get this skin from the shoulder all the way down to the elbow. And you can pull on the hide gently as long as you can't pull hard enough to tear it. And your small birds are more fragile than your larger birds. Right now, we have, this is the shoulder joint, and we're almost down to the elbow joint. When you get near the elbow joint, all your skinning that you do, if you just make sure that you're cutting behind the leading edge of the hide, don't cut on the hide itself, then you won't cut holes in the hide. Once you get down to where you can, you're past the elbow joint, then what you need to do is you need the secondary feathers are actually attached. They're attached to the bone and you need to break those away. And on a small bird like this, you guys can break it away probably with your fingers or your thumb by pushing down right past the elbow joint. On a quail, you, if you're gentle, you can push down right there. On a larger bird, you'll need to use the a blunt object like your scalpel blade to push down on that like that and pull that, break those feathers away from the bone so that the hide will continue to move down. And then once you have, now we're all the way down to the wrist, so we have the, we have the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. Once you're all the way down to the wrist, then get rid of your scalpel and use a scissor and just remove all this meat. And the easiest way to remove the meat is by cutting the tendons that attach it and then cutting lengthwise along the bone so that you just remove the muscle like that. Cut lengthways along the bone. When you get most of that meat removed, and you can see that the bone is pretty much clean, then make sure you return it to its, like pull it, in, re, invert it or turn it back so that the hide is over the bone, so that the hide doesn't stay inside out and dry out. So the bone is off the humerus, or the meat is muscles off the humerus, and then what you want to do is carefully cut off the meat from the radius and ulna down below. You have to kind of cut between those two bones, the radius and the ulna, to get the meat between them to come out. But, and don't take a lot of time to do this. Five minutes um, so that you get that meat off and clean it off the best that you can. And later we'll add a little borax to this to make sure that that dries out and it doesn't it doesn't spoil inside there. So there you can see pretty clearly that the radius and the ulna and the humerus are cleaned with the meat. A little bit left on the hide that we should go ahead and remove.